Hey guys, Bekasan. Still, still November 30th here. Maintenance cycle begins uh, tomorrow, and after that, I will go on break for a bit here throughout the month of December. So, just filing away all little fresh reactions while I can here. And this one, yep, we got a death battle that was just made public Batgirl versus Spider Gwen. And. Yeah, I did forget about the death battle between uh, Batman Beyond and Spider-Man 2099. Hmm. I remember more of the superpower beatdown. But anyhow, point, point is, it's all the same here. It's uh, Spider-Gwen's powers are an exact replica, exactly the same, as Peter Parker, because she's just come from a new a universe where she was bitten instead of Peter. So, hmm. Huh? And Batgirl is kind of the same as Batman, so my money's on Spider-Gwen here. For what I know about those two here, they both have, I think, they both have high IQs. They're both geniuses. But both of them are, like, specialized in a different field here. Batgirl is more, what, uh, uh, computer programming, hacking, cyber warfare, while Spider-Gwen is more, like, biotechnology, genetics. That kind of stuff, I'm, I think. Could be, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there was... And she's also a rocker, I know that much. But I... Oh, boy. Yeah, I should read more Spider-Gwen comics. I know a few things are different in her universe. Like, uh, Frank Castle is police force. Matt Murdock is Kingpin. Or whether Kingpin's lawyer. Or... Hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, boy. Just watch this here, okay? Uh, also, like, uh, I think... Biggest shock is Mr. Fantastic in her universe. The kid. Genius kid still, but a kid. Now let's begin. Oh boy. Da 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 da. Still can't move his arm right here. Who runs the world? The ladies. So obviously there's a bunch of awesome crime fighting chicks out there. Yeah, of course. Barbara Gordon, the DC Comics vigilante known as Bat girl. Also, I like how they're using the Ar Arkham Knight version. Yeah. Uh, so is this gonna be? Oh, it's a 3D battle. Ooh, nice. What a way! To, what a way to take a break. Her father was Gotham City's police commissioner, and she idolized the legendary superhero Batman. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she's a rebel. But she's a rebel. A criminal crashed it first, and she wound up saving the day. This sparked really? a fire in Barbara. A fire for justice. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is from the Harley Quinn. With this, new mission, this is from Harley Quinn. I haven't gotten that far yet. Batman and Robin. As the next badass crime fighter. <laughs> <Batgirl>. <laughs> nice. Or a Gordon. Oracle. Maybe. Maybe. And the Bat Family Justice League. Originally adopted, was originally adopted by Commissioner. Originally adopted? What? Uh, well said, Boomstick. Wow. I thought, yeah, that was deep, Boomstick. Yeah, should it? Exactly. Big human martial arts, dragging style kung fu, boxing, gymnastic, computer hacking, expert detective. <laughs> yes. Also, why haven't at this point why haven't she changed her name from Bad Girl to Bad Woman? Oh, that's right. Yeah. And I yeah I know technically someone already has it, but she should have had that first. Bad rap group. <laughs> Also added plenty of her own tools to her arsenal for an extra advantage. Okay. From a taser to pepper spray, concussion bombs, smoke bombs, and foam bombs that can bind people in place. What's with all the bombs? And of course, she's got Batarang. <laughs> Here I come. I'm just dying to help. Dummy? No one knows about the basic shuriken the bats are famous for. Ow. But Gordon <laughs> also carries an electric variant. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a very nice of you, that you never, you never 
<laughs> Are they like drunk? <laughs> yeah, he like jacked up. This is like from um, Futurama reference right there when uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks. I, I need that explosive. <laughs> That's common. Why? Yeah. Why not? That was a tracer, but yeah. On her own, held a robot to destruction. God, life wars. And they divide falling several stories. Defeat Joker, Darling, and Clayface. Yeah. And she got back on her feet eventually. Thank you, Cybernetics. I mean, they got. Yeah. Along with their photographic memories. Mantel Bagger was eventually succeeded by Catherine Kane. Yeah. Man, I bet she'd kick ass at Murder Ball. Certainly <laughs> setting her apart from the likes of Batman and Robin. She even learned stick fighting while still paralyzed. She can beat your ass even while sitting on hers. What can't she do in that wheelchair? <laughs> Uh, well, besides walk, e not for too long. Though. Yeah, okay, yeah. She received neural implants in her brain and spine that let her walk again. Exactly. Fortunately, these devices are vulnerable to short circuiting and AI hacking, but they're an acceptable risk and have been improved over time to resist such incursions. Mm -hmm. it just makes her that much harder to beat. I mean, she's strong enough to outmuscle a giant mutant shark. Oh, yeah, King Shark? A fully grown tiger. <laughs> oh, okay, that's impressive. Never beat that uh that, that DLC. Never played it. Become a well-rounded protector of her city. Crazy to think how far the wannabe sidekick has come. She's really stepped out of Batman's shadow and become her own hero. Yep. The goddamn Batgirl. Stepping yourself a little. Ooh. Livewire. Before Mary Jane, everyone's favorite Spider superhero Peter Parker dated a girl named. Oh boy. E yeah. Except that isn't the end. No. Nope. The universe is full of possibilities. What if in another timeline that never happened? What if Peter never found that radioactive spider that made him Spider-Man in the first place? What if it picked Gwen? The superhero was Gwen. Welcome to Earth 65. This Gwen was a teen kicking back in New York City. Oh. She's a drummer for a high school band and the Yeah, the, the Mary Janes. And she's this week. Yeah, of course. One and only Gwendolyn Maxman Stacy. I had a woman. Ghost Spider. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like Ghost Spider. Laura Kinley. Oh, yeah, when she, when she was. Yeah, that, that whole. There's like Eminem. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one. Yeah, they became the lizard. Spider-Woman into a fugitive on the run, but also inspired her to take her father's advice. It was time to step up as a superhero. Mm -hmm. Spiderific powers, she can crawl on walls and stick to any surface. I love and sitting on your couch being all that is man. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> hey! Spider-Woman also has the classic spider sense, which constantly mm -hmm. scans her surroundings and alerts her to incoming danger. Tim's have we said the word spider so far? We get to 50. Do we get a free taco? Thanks to her mm. spider A gun, of course, got another gun. Fast enough to dodge bullets, lasers, mm -hmm. and lightning from Electro. On his best day, classic Spider-Man's even dodged beams of light, at least for a bit before we got smacked. Mm -hmm. She's tough enough to power through point-blank explosions just as well as electrocution. And yes, she has similar powers as other spider people like main universe Peter. Exactly, it's identical. A massive explosion that annihilated the top of this skyscraper. So again, she's gonna win. But of course, to truly fit the role of Spider Woman, she needed one last thing. Thanks to Janet Van Dyne, aka The Wasp, 
Gwen receives her very own web shooter. <laughs> Why do these people keep using sticky stuff that just gets everywhere? It's kind of gross. The web fluid isn't just sticky, but incredibly strong. Yeah, tensile strength is incredible. The tensile strength is <laughs> <laughs> 78 kilograms per square millimeters in a cross section. <laughs> He's got to wrap himself up. It would be nearly as strong as steel. Oh, come on, Gwen. This is a new shirt. Well, it can't be. It already has beer stains all over it. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just cut a bunch of holes in their jeans and ruin them. Even with those similar powers, Gwen's not yet. It's a solvent an hour, so relax. She's made a habit of traveling throughout the multiverse. And she lost her powers permanently. They were stolen. Wait, what? Oh. The, the evil version of these isotope things, but she didn't really have a good solution until she found Venom. No, really. The Venom can make Oh boy. Well, for herself. Okay. Her suit, her powers were fully restored. Oh, yes, oh, I like it. Oh, wow. Of Venom is a bit different from the one you're most familiar with. Really? It was lab created and not nearly as potent Oh, as yeah, okay. So, Ultimate Spider-Man basically. Ultimate Venom. But Gwenum won't be reforming from a puddle. Gwenum. Or anything crazy like that. Oh. So, she can create even more spiders? Who the hell came up with that? I no way. <laughs> Yeah. It's basically scared of a metal concert. Ironic <laughs> considering its preferred look. But oh yeah, that's awesome. Violent nature tore Gwen apart. Eventually she wound up unmasked and indicted. What do you mean unmasked? Her name's Spider Gwen. Everyone should have figured that out. <laughs> have you been paying attention? No. Nope. Yes, Gwen. Bad ass spider tick kick lots of ass. Uh, uh, the robot's neck had a water laser beam dodge electric. Electro lightning or weapon kind of I'll speed a bullet. Basically, she got about as popular as Spider Man, and they wanted to jam her in the universe. There, she hmm. gained her secret identity. But since there were a few other spider women running around, yeah, she on a new moniker. Go Spider? Spider. Go Spider. Damn. Not a good name. She's got two. Why not? Welcome to see how far she's come from teenage show up to guardian of the multiverse. And that's why I work alone. <laughs> Okay, come on, they're set. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a dead battle. Okay, probably with a thumbnail done here. I still vote Gwen, Spider Gwen here, because it's the same thing. I mean, <sighs> okay, they're okay, yeah, because even if taking the, the same age, whatever, but yeah, it's like you can't sneak up on Spider Gwen. The same reason why Sp Batman couldn't sneak up on Spider-Man. And it's not like... It's not like a spider... A Batgirl Barbara will know that it's a Venom symbiote we can sound or anything like that here. Same principle with uh, Bane when he fought Venom. It's like, he's a genius, but how is he gonna know? So, yeah, my vote is Spider-Gwen. That just... Oh, yeah, but 3D, and look at that. Yeah, so you're the, the Arkham Knight model. What? He's watching this death battle between he, Wonder Woman and She-Ra? Although, yes. Traveling the multiverse here, and winding up in the bad cave. Locking things down. I loved Penny right there. So, did, did they make this bat cave themselves? Oh. A pl giant playing card with the Joker. Ooh, wow. I want to see the set. You're the stupid one for dropping by unannounced. Don't you treat your guests well. Okay. None of them, they didn't even say fight. Just get right into it. Ooh, wow. Okay, I like that she's trying to leave this place. Camera's a little weird here, but eh? With a, a little wacky, but when, when it's got some of the fight scene, but handsome. Eh, okay, here we are. 
Ha! Oh, are we making sound effects here? Like the stop. Ooh, yeah, we are. Wait, was that the uh bat t uh T A S bat Batmobile? Ooh. Mm. End of the road, loser. Wow. Invisibility. I'll find you. You're on my turf. Too late. Oh, oh, whoa. I know she's strong, but we're Actually, let it go. Just throw it back or something like that. Come on. Actually, I like that bit of humor there. I should have done that. <laughs> but wow, I knew Barbara was strong, but to act, whoa. Oh, she injured her, injured herself. But to break the, wow. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. No, yeah, no more picking. You haven't won yet. Okay, what the? Come on, there's no way. Uh oh. Okay. Oh yeah, the claw. Uh, oh. Going for that jugular! Now I have. I have! Ouch! Damn. There you go! That was obvious! Turned into split girl! Astro wielded an impressive arsenal with plenty of tools suited to combat Gwen's ability. Not mm. only Gwen was no match for her stellar intelligence. Which made this pretty close. Really? Plenty of versions of this fight where Batgirl could take down the symbiote with sound and fire. But with such weaknesses, the ghost spider held enough of her own advantages to take the win more. <laughs> what are you doing, Boomsick? So well rating was certainly better. Yeah, that's true. Super broken. Yeah. And other spideys have held up against martial arts masters like Captain America, who is definitely on par with super ninjas like Batman. Not mm -hmm. Gwen was clearly stronger than Barbara. Plus, Spider-Man survived that skyscraper bomb. Yep, the there was all that. Batgirl definitely wouldn't walk away from it. It was way bigger than the building blast that Batgirl barely survived. Hell, Batman's biggest explosion survival feat doesn't... If it'll be larger, the character food... Dr explosions, and by measuring the size of this blast, I can tell it's equal to about 60 tons of DNT. Nice! But applying the same math stuff to Spider-Man, it's... Oh -ho -ho. To be frank, Batgirl had the tools she needed to take down Spider-Woman. Gwen was simply stronger, faster, tougher, and made good use of the spider sense, making it extremely difficult for Barbara to land a decisive hit before also, herself. Also, yeah. Plus, Gladiori. Overwhebbed. Overwebbed. Overwebbed. This one in her favor. Spinning this one. Her... <laughs> Finger. Called it. Thanks for checking out that. Yeah, that was all. And also, like they didn't mention as well that Gwen should also be a genius. I mean. Uh, this Gwen as well should be a genius as well. I mean, we, I mean, or is that is that not a case in her universe here? Because I know that the Gwen Stacy from Earth Six One Six, well, she had brains to go with her look. I mean, we saw a few of those depictions as well throughout the, throughout the movies, I guess, uh, and the cartoon. So, not here apparently, not in this Earth. And even if uh, Barbara did. Figure out have tools. This is gladiatorial. This is gladiatorial fight here. Like they, she has to. She brings the tools she has at her disposal that she would commonly have. It's, again, the same thing with uh, Batman. Like if he knew all Spider Man's weakness, he'd come prepared. But he was. But no, this is the kind of thing here. They all come with their uh, standard set, and so Batgirl had nothing that she typically carry on her person that could have really. Uh, 
giving her an edge against Gwen. That episode of Death Battle. If you like that fight, be sure to check out the new season of RVD that I worked on, RVD Zero. The first episode is up for free right mm -hmm. now on Rooster Teeth. All right, Podcast. next battle, please. Okay, we got One Piece and oh, that's right. Okay, Sanji and Rock Lee, One Piece versus Naruto. Let's see. I know we had a uh, One Piece versus Fairy Tail. We okay. We had a uh, Naruto versus uh, Bleach. Oh, yeah, we, we had another uh, one. We had two One Pieces versus Fairy Tail. Guess is this the first time it's a uh, One Piece versus Naruto? Hmm. Cool. Okay, so yeah, this win as I expected. Uh the fight scene was good here. The the camera at the beginning here when they got when it got close when they were like duking it out, trading punches and blows, kind of got a little weird. It kind of got weird and shaky. Like I couldn't really figure out. I don't know. I don't know if they were trying to hide some flaws in in the choreography and the uh, animation. But hmm, whatever. It was still pretty awesome. Like they, what was that set as well? Like they just bailed an entire Bat Cave set, and they're gonna use that set for any other uh, future Bat Family uh, fights. I'm all for that. <laughs> they include the giant penny here, the a giant trading card that's obviously for Joker. Uh, that's, that's a lot of cool stuff here. And what was it with the with the, uh, the the mallet there, the judge mallet? That uh, what 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 villain is that a reference to? <laughs> uh so go battle overall and well animated. It's like okay, they obviously used the anime the uh, acid of the Arkham Knight Batgirl uh, DLC. That's clear. What was Spider Gwen over there? What's, what 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 was her asset taken from? Because it almost looked like the movie into the Spider Verse. <laughs> <coughs> oh well, so everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good holiday season. I hope you had a better, a good Thanksgiving as well. Small as it, small as it no doubt was, given the state of the world. And uh, I hope I'll see you all on January. Until then, this is Nexon, and I'll see you guys next time.